How you doing today, bud? After putting the roof on our Aircrete patio, it's now time to come underneath and work on the ceiling. First on the list is to remove the old eave. So I think what he's gonna do is take all of the eaves off. We're gonna de-eave it. De-eave it? Yes, de-eaving. <laughs> I love it. Put up a small wall, like a gable end. Perfect. Butterflies have survived all the construction. Yeah. One half torn away. Now, second half. I'm contemplating yeah. getting my saw up here, making Ooh. this one cut a lot easier. Yes. That one. Yes. I'm loving it. Good idea. Was that easier? Wow. Huh? To use that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> In building with earth bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be part of our family for this week's adventure. that has also some uh, like plastics in it, polymer or something, and so that we can try to stick to this metal. If this works as good as it looks like it is, it won't take long. Oh yeah, that's gonna work perfectly. Beautiful, blends perfectly into this. Love it. pleased with the way this turned out. This is the next day and you can see it's really hard. I didn't go to the top because that's going to be covered with the sheeting. And then this side you can see too I didn't do a lot on this side because it was already so nice. I kind of went over to, to just some of the spots but others I just kind of left. We'll do that side and then we're going to do the front. Are you okay? Where's your hat? What happened? Hi, Luna. Luna? Luna? Where are you? Luna? Oh, gosh, it's really You're stuck! You are so stuck, honey. Come here. Come here. Okay, pull out. Pull out. There you oh. go. Oh, she's still eating it. Oh, yep. Yeah. There was dog food in here. Dog food. Maybe we should give this to Bullet. He's got a longer tongue and a smaller head. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got it all framed up, Gare, huh? Yeah. Looks good. Getting ready for sheeting. Yes. Since they're going to be sheeting the underside of the ceiling, we're going to need to make sure that it's a nice flat surface. One of the big challenges we've had is that the bottom of the ceiling is not completely level. It kind of goes up and down and up and down. So we've had to do some furring, putting some furring strips and string lines to get a nice flat surface.
again, Mom. <laughs> Maybe she learned her lesson. Oh, oh, hi. Oh. Maybe she learned her lesson. She didn't learn her lesson. No! no. Don't go. Don't do it. <laughs> no, no, she's fine. Yes. Luna? Luna, did you do it again? All right, pull out. Gosh, Are you done now? <sighs> Have you learned? No, we're still going for it. All right. <laughs> Just like I put my food in there. But it's so good. It's so good, she can't stop. We're sticking her, getting her head stuck, I guess. I wanted to save the stucco patch on the very front till one of the last places I stucco because I thought maybe I'll get a little experience using it. It's been a lot of fun to work with because it's so sticky. It was easy to work with. I think it looks really good. It looks like a stucco, like what we yeah. want. Yep, good texture. We anticipated we're gonna have a little bit of trouble trying to get something to stick to the bottom of the beams and the bottom of the rafters because it's metal. And so we found this great stucco sticky stuff <laughs> that works in there really nicely. It really sticks stuck to that metal well. And what's interesting is normally working with stucco or cob, you want it to have it all continuous. You don't want to have any breaks in it. But I found with this, I could actually just do the metal and then come down to the sides. And we bumped the ladder into it and I've been like, oh, it's gonna fall. But no, it is so solid, it does yeah. not fall. It's it's perfect for this. You wouldn't want to do a whole building, it'd put you in the poor house. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really good for that. And we were able to patch up even some of the cob problems on the house too and blend mm -hmm. it really easy and good stuff. Yeah. Twin is your son? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. thank goodness. In there? Thank goodness, no. No twin? No, no okay. twin. Luna! Luna, Tuna! You did it again, Luna. Third time's the charm. Oh, gosh. She's like, what? Did you I, learn this time? She says, no. Yeah, no. It was fine. <laughs> it needs to go to Bullet. He's got a better head for hey, it. Hey, Bullet. You have a. Come oh. On. Can we put some lights in? Oh yeah. That's gonna be cool. There'll be four of them up in here. I like these can lights. Wowing. Are we wowing, Dad? Well, wowing. I'm glad you decided to put can lights in. That's good thinking, Mom. Oh, it's good thinking, Dad. Thanks. Have you ever seen a light bulb plug that looks like that? I don't know if we're missing something. Ah, that makes sense. Thank you. See, there's the plug. That, there's the other end. So that plugs into there, and it goes up like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, how'd this get here? This looks like this would work for a ceiling. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Normally, we have a chance to get into a store and take a look at materials, but we were looking online for this material that we wanted to put on the ceiling. We didn't even know really kind of what we were doing, <laughs> what we were buying. We knew it was thin, and we knew it was four by eight sheets, and we knew it was white. Anyway, it looks like whiteboard, and we're gonna be checking that stuff up there. It turned out to be whiteboard, like you have in a drawing room or a Sunday school where you mark around things. Yeah. And you know us, we do very unique things by putting, you know, the floor on the ceiling and canvas on the ceiling. But you know what we haven't done? We haven't taken a wall and put it on the ceiling. We'll have to cut these circles out for the can lights. And always remember, we can do it. Feels like a bunch of pins and needles. I bet you if I threw this at something, it would probably go, st probably would just stay there.
We have a suggestion that we talked about in the podcast about adding insulation yes. to the roof. After I did some research on the cost, it was like over $700 to do it. <laughs> and we just couldn't justify that on the patio. So maybe another time. The stuff keeps dripping on us. It drips down. So much for being glue. Got glue. Glue. Ready for this adventure now? No, actually, I think I want to. I want to move this. How far? Oh no, let's move it back. Is it a screw head? Oh uh, yeah. Let's screw loose. I do too. Where do you think I got my screw from? Your mom. That's using your head. Okay, before we put another one in, let's double check our marks. I'm on my line here. Are you on your line down there? Does that work? Sure. You happy with that? Get a screw in and let's take a look. Say, someone should tie me on how quickly I can paint one of these. As you can see, there's about 30 of these and I've got three left, so I've painted but like 27 of them. You can imagine that I should be pretty fast at doing it. Should we find out? And he said, go. By the way, this is, I should say, this is only one coat. So um, if I miss a spot, it's only the first coat. Plus that covers all my excuses for uh, how many spots I'm gonna miss during my rush. All right, so we want to paint happy little trees. Happy little trees. We, we'll, ignore, we'll ignore the fact that we're painting on a dead tree. Happy little trees. Has anyone ever thought Bob Ross was painting on paper? I'm pretty sure paper comes from trees. Is that, am I accurate on that? I think I'm pretty accurate on that. So, if he's painting a happy little tree on a piece of paper, has anyone imagined that it's possible that that piece of paper is the tree? In which case, he doesn't actually need to paint a tree. See my logic? And we're coming to the end. And lift up your brushes. That's probably looks like it needs something. How fast was that? I don't know, you tell me. I just realized I should be cocking this. As I spill it everywhere, don't look. But that looks right. Okay. I think that's gonna be good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick a screw in here. difference putting these on. Well, I think y'all. I would dry fit that. Uh, I want it to go all the way flush though, right? Oh yeah, I can push that in. Yeah, I'm gonna push that in. That's what I'm gonna do. Last screw. All right, so now we need to paint all the little screw heads, finish putting up the lights, and do white caulking, and definitely clean it, because we got some dirt on it. <laughs> Ooh, it's looking nice. We have a few more things to finish up, but we're gonna save that for next time. How you doing, Dad? Doing good, doing fine. You know, Brad, this really does brighten it up in here with the white being reflective and it's yeah. nice. It kind of makes me feel like we're on a cloud. A cloud floating in space. The stucco on the outside, gorgeous. I mean, that came out so well. Easy to work with. Better than the homemade stuff. Oop, yep. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that because our stuff that we make is gorgeously awesome. <laughs> but it is a little more stickier. The ceiling came out as good as I think we could based on two foot centers and, and thinner being material. Aircrete. I mean, and you know, aircrete too. It, so. It's not like it's perfectly straight wooden beams yeah. that are up there. It, it, aircrete, and so it's a little, <laughs> you little, know. Little <laughs> but you know what, it gives it character and I oh, yes. honestly really like it. It's very it's, organic. 
You know, it's a lot straighter than I thought it would be, to be honest <laughs> with you. I thought we would be really out of whack. No, but it came together good. The trim pieces came out really well, helped to take out a lot of that waviness. And it also too filled in the space where two boards meet and sometimes they don't always meet together perfectly. So the trim covers all that up. Yeah, and, and we, now we have Racing. a great big, huge whiteboard. It looks great. Fantastic, especially Fantastic. with my eyes closed. Oh, this yes. This looks great. <laughs> great. <laughs> so we, we, what? I just can't wait to start marking on it. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be the fun. If you can just lay on your back and write, I guess. What's gonna be cool is we're gonna have that on the ceiling. We're gonna have to get these long poles with markers on the end of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, And we can lay down and be like. <laughs> <laughs> Say, has anyone seen my whiteboard? As always, there's a t-shirt design where you can pick up some wonderful merch, like these wonderful shirts, plus a plethora of a bunch plethora. of- Plethora, does people say plethora anymore? I don't know, but I'm saying yes. plethora You just heard items. plethora. <laughs> <laughs> link in description to the link to the shop, and go over there, find some nice merch, there's plenty there, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure there's one that's perfect for you. The last video was Garen and Ellie putting in the countertop in their van, so if you've missed that, make sure you pick that up. A van's sure looking nice. Bree and Jared went to visit some sort of cave house thing? Rock house I don't cave thing? Really know. Well, we're gonna get to find out. You and me both, because they're on an adventure. They're not here. Thanks for being a part of our family, and as always, thanks for watching. Oh yeah. Bye! Bye. Thank you! Well, we're kind of wrapping up this time together. No, no. We, we went up. <laughs> How do you start way, there? That was way more dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. I would have held back my sneeze, but I heard people break ribs. Get here. Get out again, real quick. Thank <laughs> you.